right, guys. Um, welcome. Got five sessions in a row here. Um, uh, this one's going to be serving. So we're going to spend some time. Do you guys have space in your house, like to to serve or wherever you guys are at? Malia, you got your garage. It looks like you got plenty of room. You guys, Abby, Kira. Yeah, I have space. You have a little space. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, can you guys see me? Because I can't see you. Yeah, we can see. Malia, you. Malia, yeah. I can see you. Okay, I can't see you guys. So okay. there's a vis like a video part if you want to be seen. Because some of this is going to be kind of instructional. Okay. Uh, and I, you, it right now is not important, but um, you got a little bit of time to figure that out because um, I want to see you. Today's just going to be it's um, serving. It's a standing float. Um, we're talking about, we're going to watch some video, everything I'm going to be doing in the next five sessions is going to be reviewing essentially one match. Um, so, um, it's going to be the national championship match. So, um, uh, we're going to just look at it for like, uh, 10 minutes or so, and then we'll kind of go through it and um i have a very small space uh um, i've got like a little three foot area that um we'll be doing that i can kind of demo some stuff if you guys aren't doing it um the way we want but we're basically just working on handball contact not even like um toss really or anything you guys are gonna be tossing and then and and serving some literally you can be like three feet away from the the wall we're just working on like hand the ball contact stuff but let's um let's go to I'm gonna share some content here okay can you guys see that yeah yeah see you okay so yeah we're just gonna look at, oh, and my filter died. One sec, here we go. Okay, um, all right, so we're just gonna look, let this play a little bit, look at some of the serves, and we're gonna look at some of the strategy again. This is gonna be almost exclusively jump floats. Well, we're gonna talk a little bit about their strategy, where they're serving, why they're serving. Uh, here, so we just we have the opportunity, but um, really like look at their hand to ball contact, and what we'll see is, you know, really crisp contact. They're not over swinging. Um, you're not going to see a lot of spin on the ball, and a lot of times when we're trying to serve hard. We hit different parts of the ball, and we forget that the ball is supposed to float, and that's part of it here. So, see, like no spin on that ball, and. Wisconsin serving down the line. Stanford does a lot of cross court serve. And they're kind of trying to attack this DS. Interest in the rally all that much, but. She's long ones. No cross court again. Gets the overpass. So they're trying to stay away from the libero and they don't care who else they're serving, basically. And Wisconsin is in a, is in a two person. And I'm just going to skip through the rally, it's not that important. Just see it. I don't know. Like sometimes these are a little choppy to see and it's hard to tell, but like there's no spin. I mean, they're all just hitting the ball so crisp and you're seeing this not a lot of follow through. That's not through the ball. You want extension that is always in the direction of where you're serving. So although the I mean, gravity is going to happen, your arm only extends so far as talk about serving is like your hand should follow the ball as much as it can and then you just let your arm 
your arm drop, but you're not trying to whip your hand through the ball like if you were um, spiking a ball or, or something like that. Mm -hmm. Your hand's going to naturally go down, but you want it to go out through contact once the ball's gone and your hand has to stop, it can stop. But it's almost like if your hand could stretch forever, your arm could stretch forever, it would stay on the ball as long as it can because that's the only follow through that really matters, down or away or anything like that. It doesn't, um, doesn't help you with contact. It's only going to create spin. See if Stanford goes cross court again. They do. Catherine Plummer there. We'll get to see Catherine Plummer later today and outside hitting session. Without seeing all the rallies right now, who, who do you think is with, and you can see the score, you know, Stanford's winning, you know, Stanford wins the match pretty easily, but just based off of looking at the serve and pass, who does it look like is winning? Stanford, right? Pretty obvious. Don't all chime in at once there. <laughs> um, you, if there's one part that's dominated without even the rally, you can just tell it's, it's the serve. Uh, the server is winning. Does it go down the line here? Still keen on that DS. She was not receiving the ball well. <clears throat> I love this. This isn't, we're not really talking about location of serve necessarily, but we can kind of talk about whatever we want here. You notice that we're going cross court and they just kind of Maybe you're letting them serve from where they want to serve from. But I like I like these serves. Because it it forces it forces your passer to have to, they can't midline. They have to angle. Right? See this next one, she served down the line. You can see she's struggling there to create an angle. It's a tough serve because the ball's coming down the line. Opposed to if it's cross court, you always have the chance to midline. So I like these, the tough float that's down the line. And she's struggling here with this. Close to this, this is a tough serve, but A really tough serve but what does it do it forces the passer to the middle of the court where even going to the ground she just passes she can midline she can pass the ball straight even though it was a really tough serve and it broke that way um it's an easier easier ball to receive see they're just doing whatever they can to stay off the libero though Okay. So they're kind of doing Wisconsin's kind of doing the same thing. They'd love to if Plummer was passing, they would serve Plummer, but she's not, so they're doing whatever they can to not serve Morgan Hens the libero. That's gonna go cross court again, and it's another bad pass. You can see this one, the tough serve because it's such a small player and they're passing to the entire time here. If that's, if that's a three person receive, the, the left side passer would just could midline that ball, but they don't want their front row pins passing. Here they serve the libero. That didn't work out. Two person again. Another pass off the net. I 
And this is a strategy if you have teams that are passing too. You used to not see it. You well, in like in the 80s, that was like all anybody did. And then when jump serving started to happening and there was let serves were allowed and all that, everybody went to a three person. But now you're starting to see it come back a little bit. Less passers means less communication is needed. Okay, so here's what they want to do. Why do you think they serve this serve? Plumber's now passing. Front row, row one, server short, so she, they can try to take her out. So Wisconsin just DSs both their outsides. And so it's like two little DSs. And they've gotten every ball. Oh, it's on right now. So um, if you guys have some space, let me see where you're at and let me see your space right now. Kind of talk you through what we want to do here. Um, and you can use any kind of ball you, you want with this today. Like your parents might drive you crazy, like you might be driving them crazy if you're like actually serving a regular ball um with a, against the wall like all kind of there's my little my little space um here but we could even you could even do like just here this is like a little kid's like almost blow up ball like first touch ball so it could even be something like that where we're just we're here and all i want you thinking about doing here is we're just going to have it hit and come back like i said you can be like three feet away um and it doesn't matter right now, but all I want you thinking about here is that we have solid contact with the palm of our hand and that it's going in the direction of the ball. And sometimes when we shorten the space um, a little bit, uh, um, we shorten the space a little bit, it, it um, helps you kind of just think about one thing. Like we're gonna do setting here um, in a couple minutes and it's all hand to ball uh, stuff. And this is like, um, or contact stuff, really basic stuff. Okay, but um, just like when I'm setting, there's like there's a lot of value or passing. We're gonna do that today too. There's a lot of value in um, in just doing something that's so simple, and you can just kind of like think about the contact part of it, right? So even if I'm just here, my hand, thinking about nothing else, but is my hand going in the direction of the ball? Not trying to serve hard. Okay, so let's see you guys do it a little bit here. Hi, Morgan. Hey, bro. Hi, Morgan. Hi, Brooklyn.